Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens here with iGo Sales and Marketing. Uh, today we are going to set up uh, dynamic fields, okay? And they're very useful in Sweet CRM. Um, there's not a lot of documentation on how to use them and how to set them up. So I'm going to do this video today on simply how to set them up. And the case example I'm going to use today is let's say you have two different opportunity cycles, okay? Um, so if you've used Sweet CRM before and the opportunities, you, you might set it up and then you might have stages of the opportunity um, set up, but then you realize, well, I sell different products and different services and each one has their own uh, different um, sales stage sort of thing. And you wanna set up a different opportunity cycle for different uh, different product lines or different service offerings, okay? So let me start by saying this isn't a complete tutorial on how to do that. I'm only demonstrating the dynamic fields today. You may want to do things like uh, set up subfields for probability and set up and link it to the existing subfields of open and closed so that the status of the case or sorry the status of the opportunity is set up from uh, what the, the, the sales stage is chosen, okay? So um, having said that, let's get through this and here's how to set up dynamic fields. Let me move myself out of the way here. Okay, so we are gonna set up two opportunity cycles. So we need two different fields in order to accomplish this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an opportunity cycle stage, okay? And then we are gonna set up a subfield based on whether you choose software or consulting, you get a different list of options in the second field. Okay, so the, the opportunity cycle is the parent field and the um, opportunity cycle, or sorry, and then the, the subfield, the opportunity cycle stages um, are the subfield of that, okay? And the way you set that up is first of all, you create the parent field. It's just a normal everyday drop down, okay? So we'll call it like opportunity cycle stage or opportunity stage cycle or something, okay? And then um, below that, we're going to create a child. Um, and the child we'll call like opportunity type stage or something. Um, and then we will add all these values, okay? So the software, for example, in this example, if we sell software, we have the prospecting, needs ID, demo, proposal, won, or lost, okay? Um, and if we're selling consulting in this opportunity, we have prospecting, discovery, proposal, won, and lost. I just made it simple, but you can have as many of these as you want, okay? So in this case, it's just two choices, software and consulting. And the way you make this work is if in the parent, if the choice is software, okay, so this is the, the value for the choice of software, and then you put an underscore and then the choice for the child, okay? Um, so all the software options are gonna start with software underscore and all the, the consulting are gonna start with um, consulting underscore, okay? So let's, let's go and set this up. So I'm already in studio and I'm in opportunities here, okay? So I'm gonna to want to add the parent field, first of all, okay? So let's add this field. We're gonna call it opportunity sales type, okay? And I just wanna be careful because I think there's already um, a field in Sweet CRM for, for opportunity type, okay? Uh, so I just want to make sure, oops, let me try that again. I need to make this a drop down. Okay. So this is gonna be opportunity sales type. Okay, so, um, I'm going to want to create a drop down for this as well. Okay. And remember our options are software or consulting. Okay. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to create this field. So we want software. Okay. So remember this is the 
uh, ID of this choice, and this is the display label. In this case, they're going to be the same. Software and consulting. Okay. So I usually like to add a blank choice as well. I'm going to add a blank choice, sort them ascending. Okay, and then I'm just going to save this. Okay, close. And then I need to save this field uh, a second time. Sometimes I make the mistake where I forget to save it and have to do it all over again. Um, but what we're going to need here for the next step is the field name of this parent. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay, so let's save this one. Okay, so you can see we have our field here, opportunity sales type, uh, consulting, and software. Okay, so we're going to add a, another field here uh, that is the child field. Okay, so we're going to add this. And this time we want a dynamic drop down. Okay, and then see where it says parent drop down here? We're going to put that guy in there, opportunity sales type. Okay, so that's the parent field. So the child field, let's call it opportunity sales stage. And I'm not sure if I have one of these before, so we'll just call it one just to make sure that we don't have a problem. Okay, so opor sales stage okay so now we want to add our um, drop down okay so the way we do this is I'll add one blank one okay so let me get my list up here just to make it easier okay so the first one we want to add is this one Paste and this is prospecting. Okay, the second one we want to add is this. Copy, paste, and this is needs ID. Okay, and the next one we were going to want to add is the demo stage. So that's all of them entered. We're just going to save that. Okay, and close this. And we just want to save the actual field itself. Oh. Let's try that again. Okay, so it looks like it's saved, I hope. <laughs> all right, so uh, if I refresh this, let's see here. And go back to opportunities. should have the opportunity sales type and the opportunity sales stage okay so they did save even though I got that database error there hopefully this all works out <laughs> okay um, so the next thing we're gonna want to do is we want to go to opportunities we're gonna want to add this to a layout okay and uh, we'll go to edit view here and good it looks like I have my two uh, two um, fields here so that's a good sign all right. Um, if you've never used this before, you're going to want to check off sync to detail view. So there are two views. One is the detail where it's 
not editable when you look at a record and the other one is when you edit the record okay they're two different views 99% um, of the time you want those to be exactly the same so it's a good idea to check this off and then if you make changes here to the edit view it'll automatically sync with the detail view okay so I'm just gonna add a row in here uh, under the original sales stage and lead source that they have okay and then I'm gonna add my uh, sales opportunity type here and my sales opportunity stage here okay these are the two fields I just created I think I got that right okay and then save and deploy and then I'm gonna just close this and then if I go to an opportunity here uh, sales opportunities and let's just open one I already have okay so if I now edit this, okay, you should see that I have uh, sales, sorry, here it is, sales stage or opportunity type. So there's my consulting and software. So if I select consulting, you'll see that I get the list of, I get everything. Okay, so I got to the bottom of my issue. Okay, so what um, what I did here was if I go back to our fields and we have a look at our child field, okay? Um, so we have opportunity sales type is the parent, okay? And the name of the field is opportunity sales type underscore C. Um, when it creates uh, a field, a custom field, it puts underscore C at the end. And what happened was um, when I created the sales type, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the other one, the sales stage, um, and I put the parent field in here, I forgot the C at the end, okay? So I added the C, the other thing I did was a quick repair and rebuild, okay? So now it all works properly. All right, so I'm going to go here to the front end and just show you again how this is supposed to work. Okay, so when the person is creating an opportunity and they select consulting, they get the discover, they get the sales stage options for consulting, okay? But when the person chooses software, okay, they get the options for software, okay? And that's how uh, a, dy a dynamic field works and how you set it up um, with all the uh, work through that I did there you can make sure that you don't make the same mistakes I did so the key thing is uh, one the parent field is not a drop down or is not a dynamic field it's the child field that's the dynamic field okay the other thing to remember is uh, when you're creating your child field uh, and you use the name of the parent field here, make sure you put that little C at the end, okay? And if it's not working right for you, uh, after you set it up that way, do a quick repair and rebuild, um, and that should solve your problem and it'll work okay. So, and again, you can add as many um, sales types as you want here. You could have, you know, I, I, there's some point where it gets kind of crazy, but you could have 10 of these, okay? And then you could similarly add all the options for all 10 different subfields, right? Okay, so just a quick look at what I set up again one more time. Uh, I set up the parent field, and then I set up the uh, subfield with the values of the choice from the parent field, underscore the name of the of the choice in the subfield okay and if you set all that up uh, it should work uh, pretty good for you okay and hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did don't forget the C I also just wanted to let you guys know that um, I also uh, do sweet serum consulting for a living um, you can reach out to me I'll put some links down below I also have a course online where I for new sales reps where I go through the entire uh, training process for a new sales rep, you know, how to deal with targets, leads, opportunities, contacts, accounts, um, how to convert, how you should set up your day, how to set up call reports and tasks and use your calendar, all those kind of things are included.
if you're interested, it's a really great deal. It's 97 bucks, and I will put a link to my course below. Uh, of course, if you have questions, please uh, add them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if um, you can do me a big favor and like or subscribe, it really helps me get my videos out there. Thank you so much and have a great day.